loud sounds can hurt and kill the teeny sensors in our ears called hair cells. So what can we do to protect our ears? Mm. 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 There are three very good, simple ways of protecting our ears. The first is by simply turning down the sound level. If you're listening to music in your car, or your room, or through headphones, you can turn the sound down just a bit and still enjoy the music without hurting yourself. When should you turn it down? If you're playing music in your room, and the music is loud enough to where your friends can't understand you unless you raise your voice, it's probably too loud. Just turn it down a little. If you're wearing headphones, and you have to pull them off to understand someone an arm's length away from you. It's probably too loud. Just turn the sound down a little and keep listening to the music you love. Hmm. What happens if you're in a situation where you can't turn the sound down? Like near a construction site or by a noisy truck? You can just move away from the sound. Sound pressure drops a lot as you move away from the source of the sound. If you double the distance you are from a sound, the sound pressure drops in half. Moving away from loud sounds is a good choice if you can't turn the sound down. Suppose you can't turn the sound down, and you really can't move away from it. For example, you're mowing the lawn, mm. or working with power tools, mm. or maybe at a rock concert. Mm. Mm. There is another way to protect your ears! Mm. You can block the sound from getting to them. There are a couple ways of doing this. Sometimes it's easiest to wear earmuffs. They go over your head like stereo headphones, but they block out the sound. They should be put on with the headband over the top of your head and each earpiece covering your entire ear. They don't work well if you're wearing glasses. Earmuffs are comfortable and you can easily put them on and take them off. They can be bought at hardware stores, sporting goods stores, and gun shops. Another way to block the sound is by wearing earplugs. If you're going to be in a place that's noisy for a long time, like a concert, earplugs are a great choice. Some earplugs look like tiny little Christmas trees. You grip them and slide them into your ear canal. Others, which are made of foam, have to be shaped before you can fit them into your ear. To shape them, roll them between your finger and your thumb. You have to squeeze hard. Be sure to roll the earplug, not just squash it flat. You want to make it into a skinny strand, like spaghetti. With one hand, reach over and behind your head and grab your ear, the part called the pinna. Pull it up and back. This will open and straighten your ear canal and make it easier to slide the earplug in. Grab the earplug by one end with your fingertips and slide it into your ear canal until your fingers are touching your ear. Then stop. Hold it in place while you count to ten. Slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. This will give the foam earplug time to expand in your ear and make a perfect fit. If you don't get the earplug in far enough, they won't work very well. If you push it in too far, you may have trouble getting it back out. You can purchase earplugs at hardware stores, grocery stores, drug stores, and some sporting goods stores. What happens if you hear a loud noise and you can't turn it down? Uh-uh. And you can't move away. Uh-uh. And you don't have earplugs. Uh-uh. Hmm. Hmm. You can always use your fingertips. An eighth grade science project proved that by using your fingertips, either in the ears or pressing on the tiny bump in front of your ear canal, called the tragus, is a very good way to keep dangerous sounds out of your ears. So what about other things, like Kleenex tissues or cotton balls? Roll up Kleenex and cotton balls do not block sound well enough to protect your hearing. So don't use them. So remember the three ways to protect your hearing. Turn it down. 
move away, or plug your ears.